सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू चैनल गेट टू बाइट दिस इज कुनाल प्रेजेंटिंग यू दी वीडियोस ऑन फॉर्मवेयर डेवलपमेंट एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर कोडिंग ऑन दी गेट टू बाइट चैनल व्हिच इज अ कंप्लीट गेटवे फॉर फॉर्मवेयर डेवलपमेंट एंड आईओटी सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द एसटीएम बेस्ड माइक्रो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन पास्ट फ्यू वीडियोस एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द एसटीएम 32wb व्हिच इज एन आईओटी बेस्ड मॉड्यूल एंड मेक इट्स जीबीआईयू स्केच यूजिंग द एसटीएम 32 क्यूब एमएक्स in the stm32 cube ide using the already built in hl libraries we have also started with the stm8 microcontrollers which are the 8 bit microcontrollers powered by stm electronics and we have done the bare metal programming on this understanding the uh, software its software development kit and what are files are needed for making its firmware development so same way out we are going to do for the bare metal programming on stm32 based microcontrollers also so in this video what we are going to understand we are going to understand that what the uh the hl libraries that are generated and that are used by the stm32 cube mx for initializing our code so what exactly are their hierarchical structure what all hl libraries does do they do they include and what all the uh, their api and their what is the significance of the different hl libraries you or uh, you all you must have created a project from the last video on a wb55 uh cube mx auto generated code so we will be opening that code okay and we will be understanding that what all software packages is automatically included by this stm32 cube mx using the stm32 cube soft wb cube software packages so and understanding their hierarchical structure and to know that what all files and header files which will be needing to create our embedded c bare metal code okay so the overview and the timeline of this video will be like the first i will brief introduction will be there on the different soft folders which are created when we create our stm32 project on the stm32 cube id and then uh, there will be a detailed explanation about different hl folders and the files that are used and then in the end there is a quick overview and in a very short way an easy way explained you all such things in a uh, in, in a very interactive way so if you want to rush to that part you can directly go to the that part by using the timelines which i have given in the description so now without wasting time let's get started before you start to all the viewers who are first time on this channel subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified for the amazing new videos that will be uploaded just day after or now from now onwards on bare metal programming on stm32 based microcontrollers using f103 so when we generate the code by the use of stm32 cube mx there are mainly two folders which will be created core and the drivers the core will contain the main.c and all the header files and source files that will be uh, compiled to generate the output as you can see it includes the include folder which includes the header file source include the main.h and the other essential .c files and the startup code which uh, which is a mandatory header file to be included for starting our code and the driver will contain the two folders cmsis and the stm32xxxxhl_driver stm32hl driver includes the header and source file of all the peripherals as you can see the include and source folders contain the .h this is the include dot h and the source file includes the source files dot c files and the cmsis contain the header files for uh, configuring our arm cortex processors and in, under the device it contains the all the peripheral memory registers of this arm cortex core processor and the microcontroller okay so now moving forward come to the hierarchical structure we need to understand the hierarchical structure then as we know we write code in our main.c so main.c includes only the header file main.h okay so if we go to the main.h then we will find it it includes the uh, stm32 
x x x x underscore held held h l dot h this file initializes the h l by like if we go to its function definition of header file then it will include the stm32 wb x h l configure dot h which in which is used for calling the header files required configuring a peripherals now under this file it defines the macros for calling the particular header files of the peripheral like if we go to the stm32 wb underscore hl underscore configure dot h so you will see that it has hashtag defined the um, hl module enabled of which peripherals header files or hl we have to use so as we uncomment and comment these we will be including all those header files in the last if we have enabled the hashtag defined comp module then its header file will be included cortex module its header file will be included like it will be always cortex for configuring a micro processor crc module uh, exit uart flash gpio i2c and also things now each of these header files and header files of particular peripheral hl calls the stm32 underscore hl underscore default dot h now each default dot h will call the header file of peripheral register maps and configures the arm cortex register like if you go to its open declaration then we will find that it calls the stm32 wb xxx dot h which calls our peripheral memory register header file for a particular wb series which we have selected it also configures the important thing for our arm cortex compilers okay so now if we go to its root directory again to understand it that this thing again we will go to its open declaration and we will see that it has included or uh, the according to the microcontroller which we have selected like if we are using wb55 so it will enable and include the its header file if we have included wb 5m or wb35 or wb30 then its header file will be included now this header file this is the main and the root header file which includes all the peripheral memory register addresses map them to the corresponding registers according to the data sheet like as you can see here address offset is being specified for here for all the peripheral memory registers and this folder also calls the arm cortex cm3 arm the processor which is used by a microcontroller so like in wb we have arm cortex cm4 and it also calls the system underscore stm wb access dot s this header file will initializes my uh, important clock facilities and the important clock and the in uh, initialize my core processor so if we go to the core underscore cm uh, to the cmsis header files then you will see it will include all the cmsis version dot h and all the required header files by the cmsis which you can look uh, get from here like in the drivers and in the include so all these cmsis so core is our cm cortex m4 then it calls one by one by compiler and compiler dot h and all the required header files according to cmsis library so this is the rough hierarchical structure of our hl arm cortex stm32 hl libraries there are mainly two folders core and drivers core will call the include and source files drivers will call the function important files which are supported by these include and source files and the main file in these is the cmsis and the stm32 the hl driver we will configure the which at peripheral we need in our configure.h as we will define the macro functions for our peripherals then correspondingly we will include the uh, hl peripheral header files these header files will be called from here as these header files are the peripheral memories so they need the memory peripheral memories so these all these header files will call the has underscore hold def underscore default.h this will again configure which microcontroller i have selected if i have include stm32 wb h in this file that which wb is model which we have using if you are using wb55 w30 or w30 accordingly my header files will be defined 
as you can see here and accordingly my CMSIS will be called as you can see here and my accordingly system startup will be done so that's it for now so now if we need nor don't want to use HL files then what we simply have to do we have to remove HL this one this one all the HL files and we just need to in the include folder we need to include the uh, this one or this these three folders okay stm 32 wb x 55.h wb.h the startup file and then from this cmsis we need to include uh, this our cortex m4 cm4 so that's it for now guys in the next video we will create the embedded c project on the stm32 cube id and include the essential header files Till then subscribe the channel and press the notification bell.